Hi, welcome to HNL Agro's product launch. Today, we will be featuring the EX4098 hybrid carrot seed and the Bristol hybrid cucumber seed. On our program today, you will hear from Mrs. Olive Downer Walsh, Deputy Chief Executive Officer of Hardware and Number. She'll be followed by Mr. Regina Valera, Commercial Lead of the Bear Cup Sands Vegetable Seeds Division. We'll also have greetings from Mrs. Marina Young of the Rural Agricultural Development Authority. She'll be followed by a representative of the J Jamaica Agricultural Society bringing us greetings. Then you will hear from Ms. Odine Bradshaw who will tell us about the features and awesome benefits of these two hybrid seeds that are being launched today. Then. Mr. Richard Grant and Mr. Andre Gordon will speak to you about the production guide and crop care for these seeds. I will now invite Mrs. Olive Downer Walsh to bring her greetings on behalf of the Hardware and Lumber Group. Mrs. Walsh, welcome. Mr. Rahina Valera, Central American Caribbean Commercial Lead for Vegetable Seeds in Bear Crop Science. Mrs. Marina Young, CEO of the Rural Agricultural Development Authority, Mr. Christopher Emanuel, CEO of the Jamaica Agricultural Society, farmers, agro-processors, and other industry stakeholders. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen all, good day. It gives me great pleasure on behalf of the h &L family to extend a special welcome to you all. Thanks for taking the time from your busy schedule to join us for this special event. As a market leader, h &L Agra's sales and distribution of quality agricultural inputs, ranging from hybrid seeds, pesticides, tools and equipment, personal protective equipment, fertilizers and other supplies remain unchallenged. Our established reputation for provision of quality innovative solutions as well as technical support and general product stewardship continues through our extensive sales network via h and Agro Retail and h and Agro Wholesale through our resellers network along with our other industry partners. This being a reality of how we have been serving you, our value clients, for over 93 years. In continuation of the proud h &L Agro tradition of market leader through alignment with reputable partners, inclusive of Bayer Crop Science, supplier of the Seminist brands of vegetable seeds, today we launch two outstanding varieties, EX4098 Carrot and Bristol Cucumber. I take this opportunity to express our gratitude to everyone who made this occasion a reality. Our supplier, Bay Crop Science, and the evaluation team here in Jamaica, which included representatives of the Rural Agricultural Development Authority, the National Irrigation Commission, both at the Hounslow and Braco facilities, along with lead growers. We thank you all. At h &L, we are respectful of the many partnerships we have established in over 93 years in business. One in which we have been of service to the construction, home improvement, and agricultural sectors, contributing undisputedly to nation building. Through our h and Agro Business Unit, we have forged many business partnerships with resilient farmers across the island and other stakeholders. We look forward to your support as we continue on the path and set the stage for another 93 years. We thank you for your support. Let's continue on a path to making Jamaica food security and safety be at its optimum. Please, through it all, remain safe and blessed. Thank you. Thank you for those remarks, Mrs. Walsh. We will now invite Mr. Rahina Valera, 
who is with us today all the way from the Dominican Republic to bring us the greetings on behalf of Bayer Crop Sciences Vegetable Seeds Division. Reino, welcome. Dear executive directors, team members, and growers, thanks for the opportunity to be with you in this event, this Seminist Varieties Lunch. This is the result of the hard work and time dedicated by HNL to select the most promising varieties for Jamaica. This is more re remarkable given the actual circumstances, but demonstrates that both Semenes and HNL are unstoppable in their commitment to bring the most promising varieties for your growing conditions. In Semenes, now as part of Bayer, we have reinforced that commitment with company's vision, health for all, hunger for none, and have confirmed that in HNL we have the most strategic and reliable partner to keep delivering on this promise. Carrot EX4098 and Cucumber Bristol are top selling varieties in other parts of the world and now are available for Jamaica. Congratulations. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I wish to take this opportunity to acknowledge the management of Hardband Lumber, their staff, farmers, stakeholders, and all, who partic are all participants of today's launch of two new varieties. Uh, it gives me a great pleasure uh, to extend you the greetings on behalf of the Rural Agriculture Development Authority and to say how timely and important is the launch of the new carrot and cucumber seed varieties uh, for the local agriculture sector. When we're talking about the new and improved varieties, we should consider a number of factors. The one is a nutrient aspect of the crop. Um, the other one is the fact that resistant or tolerant varieties are an important component of integrated pest management systems. And we know that IPM or integrated pest management system is a strategy to prevent and to suppress pests with minimum impact on the human health and the environment. Another factor to consider is that improved characteristics of varieties contributes to reduction of the food waste. Uh, also, improved varieties help farmers to be more resilient to the impacts of climate change. And I should especially mention uh, tolerance to the high temperatures and droughts. And Jamaica is um, exposed to those um, factors. So we do need new varieties. Uh, improved crop varieties that have been developed through research and testing have special qualities such as um, fast maturation rate, uh, higher yields and pest and disease tolerances. And using improved varieties can increase production yields, reduce input costs and better withstand the effect of the climate change. Climate change, new varieties, improved varieties. If you ask how improved varieties are helpful for climate change mitigation, well, research demonstrates that use of improved varieties uh, can increase soil carbon or residues that can be manage to store carbon in the soil for a long period of time. Also, by the reducing reliance on the fertilizers, for example, use of improved varieties can reduce greenhouse gases emissions. It was determined through research that the greenhouse gases emission potential of improved crop varieties is actually ranging between 0.51 to 1.45 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per hectare per year. 
So today we are launching two improved varieties. So this particular parameter actually multiplies by two. We should not forget the importance of crops, including cucumbers and carrots, as a source of nutrition. They do play a role in maintaining good health and wellness. The findings of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations study, published in 2017, show that 24 countries in Latin America and Caribbean record a proportion of obese people in values close to or above of 20% of population. From the same study, data shows that today, 30% of people in Latin America and Caribbean affected by malnutrition, and by 2035, malnutrition could affect 50% of population in this region. When we're talking about undernourishment, same study concluded that approximately 5.5% of population in Latin American Caribbean region, which is approximately 34 million people, are actually undernourished. One of the major concerns <coughs> is the statistics for the children under five years old. The study also pointed that approximately 7.2% of the children in that category are obese or overweight. We should be very carefully watching these figures because this is our future generation and we would like to have them healthy and strong. When we're talking about adult overweight in the region of Latin America and Caribbean, it's approximately 360 million people, or 58% of population, are considered overweight. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization claims that globally, roughly one-third of edible part of food produced for human consumption gets lost or wasted. It is also well documented that there are a lot of food wasted in developing countries and it is mostly due to pests and diseases and loss at the post-harvest and processing levels. So, when farmers have access to improved varieties, the level of waste is reduced. Talking about carrots and nutrition, as we know, carrots are packed with small micronutrients, especially their, their precursor of vitamin E. So just a half a carrot a day is enough to meet an individual needs for vitamin E. It's so simple, just half a carrot a day. But at the same time, there are some shocking statistics from the World Health Organization, which estimates that 250 million preschool children in the world are deficient in vitamin A. All of which, all of which, completely preventable. Remember, half a carrot a day. Let's mention about nutritive value of cucumber. While cucumber has 95% water content, it is certainly not a pipe water. Cucumber is a source of vitamin C, vitamin K, magnesium, potassium, and manganese, which are so important for our health. So ladies and gentlemen, today, we are not just launching two new varieties. We are launching added benefits for farmers' livelihood, better nutrition, safer food for consumers, and just one more tool for more resilient farming. In concluding, I am wishing to our farmers every success in taking advantage of new seed varieties and to everyone uh, have to have a very productive and informative session ahead. Thank you. Thank you for those remarks, Mrs. Young to you and the RADA team on behalf of all of us here at Hardware and Lumber. 
I will now invite the representative from the Jamaica Agricultural Society to bring their greetings. It is my pleasure to, on behalf of the Jamaica Agricultural Society, in bringing greetings on this important occasion as we renew the long-standing and vital relationship between agriculture producers and the h &L Agro, a relationship going back for more than 90 years, and which has seen h &L definitely establishing, as, establishing itself as one of Jamaica's leading provider of agriculture inputs and related products. While our history at the JS is only slightly longer, we are mutually committed to recognizing, supporting and lauding the work of our farmers for the greater good of the nation. This vital launch of new hybrid seeds accompanied by training is yet another demonstration of the kind of mindset and action that is needed for the sector and which we at the JS wholeheartedly welcome. These high quality offerings from h &L Agro will significantly boost production of carrots and of Bristol cucumbers by reducing time to maturity as well as the number of harvest passes, but without sacrificing shape, color, or overall quality of the crop. The hybrid seed also display greater resistance to pests and diseases as well as greater adaptability. All of which mean not just better yield, but less time committed to establishing the crop. I commend this launch and the training to all our members and again salute h &L Agro for its ongoing commitment to a better life for our farmers and their families through improved yields and better produce to the consuming public. Long may this bond continue. God bless you all. To tell us some more about the features of these two awesome seeds being launched today, I now invite Ms. Odin Bradshaw, Market and Business Development Manager of h &L Agro, to tell us more. Welcome, Odin. Thanks, Michelle. h &L Agro has been a long-standing stakeholder of the government strategy for the substitution of food imports. And to continue and strengthen this relationship, we partner with our main supply of hybrid vegetable seeds to assess a few varieties of carrots and cucumber for the selection of improved materials suitable to our climatic conditions for commercial introduction and expansion of our offerings here in Jamaica. The parameters, were, the parameters used were guided by the principles of good agricultural practices and food safety considerations. A special data collection tool was developed which captured the following information. Variety adaptation, productivity in terms of the marketable yield, uniformity, palatability, and shelf life. Of course, we looked at the maturation period along with the disease tolerance and susceptibility. The evaluation team comprises of h &L technical team, the Rural Agricultural Development Authority, extension officers, along with our seminist representative, Mr. Valera. Let us now take a look at the EX4098 carrot. It's an excellent variety. Of course, it has good adaptability. It adapts well to the Jamaican condition and our soil type here. It can be grown in, at high altitude and also in warm climatic condition, so it can be grown throughout the summer period. It provides vigorous plants with excellent foliage, good adaptation to mechanical harvesting because of the uniformity of the tubers. Also, it's of orange in color with strong internal and external color. It matures within 90 to 110 days. It has high yield in terms of the pounds per acre. And for this, we get 12 to 15 tons per acre and 37 tons per hectare. It average, the average diameter is two to three inches 
and also the length goes up to nine inches and with good land preparation we have seen the variety going as much as 12 inches in length it has a good disease and pest resistant package it is tolerant to alternera and also to nematodes and we know that nematodes are of concern to our jamaican farmers and our next selection of a variety to plant in terms of their for carrot production, please select the EX4098 carrot seed. Again, it comes in a small package. package however, it has over 50,000 seeds inside here. Also, it matures within 90 to 10 days to 110 days and can be grown at high altitude and adapts well also to warm ecosystems. Let us now take a look at the next variety that we're launching here today. We're launching the Bristol Cucumber variety. The Bristol Cucumber is a slicer, right? It's one of the gynecious hybrid slicing cucumber variety. And by virtue of this, it means that it produces only female flower. This is important because most cucumbits have female, as male and female flowers. But the female flower is the one that produces our turds into a cucumber. So having a high amount of female flowers available means that you will have a higher chance of better yield in terms of your cucumber production. The length is 8.3 inches. Also, it produces high yield of straight dark green slicing cucumbers. It's an early maturing variety, 55 days. Great fruit quality in terms of the shape and color produces perfectly shaped fruits with great quality and color. It has high balance between the vegetative and generative growth. High resistant to cucumber mosaic virus, the zucchini yellow mosaic virus, angular leaf spot, and also the anthracnose race one along with scab. The intermediate resistant of this Variety, the Bristol cucumber, is that it has intermediate resistance to the papa ring spot variety virus along with down mildew and powdery mildew. And we do know that down mildew and powdery mildew is of concern to most cucumber producers. It achieves high yield potential for fewer harvest paths, with fewer harvest paths. Early maturity, second generation cucumber hybrid, and of course, it has a high percentage of super select in early harvest, suitable for growing in tropical conditions, and it's the leading variety over in Central America. Farmers, and your next selection of cucumbers to plant, please try our Bristol cucumber. It's a slicing cucumber, as I stated earlier, it matures within 50 to 55 days. It's dark green in color with little spines. Again, it's adaptable into warm ecoclimates and it's also strong in terms of the vegetative and generative um, growth. Thank you. So we have heard about the features of the seeds. So we now know how to produce them. So we now invite Mr. Richard Grant and Mr. Andre Gordon to tell us about the production and the crop care of these hybrid seeds. Richard and Andre, over to you. Thank you, Michelle. Now, we'll be looking at our carrot crop care guide. But before going in depth into carrot production, it's always great for us to give an overview of carrots. Now, the botanical name for carrot is Darkus carota. And did you know that carrot is actually, actually origin, um, it's, it, it, it's land of origin is actually Europe? Yes. Right, good. Now, as it relates to our HNL, portfolio, we do have three prime varieties that we offer to our clients locally. 
those varieties are. Our Carandai, which is, of course, is of our Seminist brand. Our Golden Prince, which is of our Tati brand. And our EX4090, which is the new kid on the block, is from our Seminist brand as well. Now, let's look at some quick facts as it relates to carrot, because carrot, carrot is highly nutritional, right? And majority of J Jamaicans know this, and we do love to have carrot as, as a part of our meal, whether it want to be carrot juice or uh, in, in, in our brown, brown stew, right? Good enough. But do, do we really know the nutritional benefits of carrots, per, per, per se? And for, for that, I want to just highlight this. Now, the carrot is a root veggie table, right? And it, it, it often claimed to have perf is a perfect health food. It is crunchy, tasty, and highly nutri nutritious. Carrots are, are a particular good source of beta carotene, fiber, which is good for bowel movement, vitamin K, potassium, and of course, it has antioxidant properties as well, which makes it a superfood. Now, Carrots are a weight, it is what we refer to as weight loss friendly and as such in, 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 in the dietary plan, plan of persons who would, would, who's interested in losing weight, carrot would be a part of their diet as well. Now it is also linked to lower, lowering um, cholesterol and it also improves eyes, eyesight and that is something that we have learned from um, primary school, school years that carrot is good for the eye. Now, carrot contains beta carotene, as I highlighted earlier, and beta carotene is a known antioxidant, and it has been linked to reducing the risk of cancer, cancer. and you know that the incidence of cancer has grown in, in the, the pop population over the last few, few years. So imagine including carrot in your diet as a preventative, so to speak, right? So it will lessen the, the risk or, or the, the chances of the, the developing such. Now, carrots are found in many colors. Many people don't know that carrot also comes, com, comes as in a white color. Did, did you know that? No. Carrot, <laughs> right, that, that is the, exactly. You also have carrot um, being yellow, um, red, purple. But often, after, um, the, the, the color that more persons are familiar with is the orange color. Yes. Very good. Now, carrot, um, orange color is as a result of its better carotene content, right? And as I said earlier, better carotene is an antioxidant, and it's very good, and it also helps in improving eye eyesight. Andre? Yes, um, Mr. Grant. And we want to know, highlight the different varieties. And as you said, Mr. Grant, the carandai, or main supply, comes from seminis. Yes. Now, Carandai, some of the main character features of this, of this carrot is that it's an early maturing um, um, crop. Yes. It matures within a period of 90 days. 90 days, yeah. It has a high yielding potential. So persons who plant this, this variety will expect to achieve a high yield. It's long, it has long roots. So and persons within the local market like these carrots. It's resistant to alternaria. Now the farmers who are seasoned carrot farmers will like this variety because it gives them the protection that they need. Also, give them the production that they need. And that, and, and that, that is to a critical point. The, the yield is important, and the, main, and, and, and the fact that it also gives them protection because it's, what, it's, a, it's a variety that gives very good resistance to two of the main diseases that affect carrot. What are those again? The Altinera and the powder mildew. And the powder mildew, good. so true, yes. And persons who can expect uh, the, the production, uh, production from, from this within 10 tons per 10 acre. 10 tons per acre. And that is excellent. Whoa, that, that, that is definitely so excellent. this yeah. variety is an excellent variety that is adapted to the local market and persons continue to, to plant this. Yes. Now, we have the Golden Prince. Yes, yes. Which comes from Taki. Yes. One of our main suppliers. And this is also an early maturing arm, arm, arm carrot. It comes mature within 210 days. It is excellent. So persons who, who plant carrot on a regular basis will look forward for this to come into, come into production at a shorter period and an earlier period. Now, yes. it's vigorous with a, with a deep red color. Yes. Persons like this, they, based on the character, the feature of this. It also is also resistant to the, 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 the disease Altenera. Yes. And it gives you a high production of eight tons 
to the acre. Eight tons to the that acre. That is very excellent. Excellent. Now, it has a length of six inches. Six inches. So persons within the local market like that for the housewife is excellent for the housewife. Okay. Good. With a diameter of 1.5 inch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, this variety is excellent for, is adapted for the, for the local market and persons continue to plant this to different parishes that are major for um, um, crop production here. That is so, so true and I agree with, with, with you 100%. Per, per the golden print because of its deep Rich. red color, um, it, it's aesthetically pleasing, pleasing. to many per, per, per persons. And as I highlighted early on, um, it is ideal for, 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 for household um, use of, of, of persons who's more inclined to, to buy smaller um, carrot var var varieties, but golden prints is I I ideal for, for that market. Yes. Right? Good. Now, you mentioned the EX4098. The new kid on the block. New kid on the block from Seminis. Yes. Now, this is an excellent variety. It is doing excellent on the local market. Persons have adopted to this and persons that are seen where the production level, it is tremendous. Yes. And the production level is 12 to 15 tons per acre. Wow. Now, that is showing great um, 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 production. Yes. Now, it's also an early maturing um, 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 crop. It matured within 90 to 110 days. Now, this has where we person have seen now production, produ the production and, the, and, the, and, the, and the high yield Persons are adopting to this. Now, this also variety is a hybrid adopted, adopted to various soil types. So persons within the different soil region, within the region, different soil types, persons can feel free to plant this variety. It is adapted to warm ecosystems. So persons within the hotter zone or, 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 or the hotter climates can also feel free and feel comfortable in planting this and expect, would expect to get their production, the high, the high yielding production from this variety. Now, it has been grown in the different areas and persons have seen and persons are testifying to the production of this um, variety. I, 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 I myself, my, myself has experienced that because even areas of high altitude where it tends to be a bit more cool, uh, so there's a greater amount of precipitation I've seen where um, EX4098 does ex exceptionally well, and as you rightly point, point out, the yield the yield is phenomenal um, in co as, as it relates to carrot production um, locally. What you are getting out of EX4998 is what, what, what I would have referred to would have meet or surpassed industry um, standards in terms of yield and, pro and, and um, production. The beauty of it is Again, what you highlight that you have highlighted is is its high adaptability, and of course you had made reference to um, its disease um, um, resistance, which is great because you know in cooler cli cli climates you would you would expect to have a bit more fungal attack. But yes. ho ho however, with your EX4098, the re resistance is so great that, that 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 you have little to no. Um, disease infestation, um, infestation, foliage disease. That, that, that is. And Mr. Grant, yes. it's also equally important to highlight that it competes well with weeds. That is so true. That, that, that is so true. It does compete exceptionally well um, with, with weeds. So EX4098 is an excellent variety and persons have adapted to this. And now we're going to see this taking off onto the local market in a wider scale, Mr. Grant. Great. Now, Ms. Mr. Garden has highlighted our three varieties, and those three varieties are uh, Karen Dye from our Seminist portfolio, which gives, gives you 10 ton per, a, per a, acre. Our um, Golden Prince, Prince variety, that is from our Taki um, brand, right? Our that gives, you eight, tons that gives you eight tons. And now our EX. 4098, uh, which is also from our seminist. seminist line, and that gives, gives you 15 to 12 to 15, tons, 12 to 15 per tons per acre. Those are exceptionally good um, 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 varieties. Okay, so let's look, look at our planting schedule, right? Because I know our viewers would have been wanting to know a, a bit more about carrot production, right? How it is basically done. Now, keep in mind that carrots are a tropical 
vegetable that can be cultivated year round. However, there are conditions under which it thrives best. Good enough. Now, carrot grow best in in, in um, cool to inter, in, intermediate ten temperatures, um, early spring to late, 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 late fall. Keep in mind that we are in the in the in the in the tropical um, zone. So as it relates to um, our climatic fluct um, fluctuation, our seasonal ch changes is not that great where it will um, severely um, impact pro pro Im impact production. So carrots can be grown year round under local climatic conditions. Now, um, um, con conditions having high temperatures tend to cause um, poorly colored, low quality carrots, right? Um, carrot can thrive in areas of open fields and, and also um, um, in small garden spaces, given that it is exposed to full sun, which is a critical um, component of growing car carrots. You, you do need that um, full um, sunlight. Um, um, sunlight. full sunlight exposure to sun, sun, sunlight. Um, ideally, we recommend that you provide at least an inch of water every week to maintain soil moisture, especially at the p at, at, at um, sowing for proper germination. germination right? Because, you know, carrot tend, tend to have a very hard um, tester and without adequate moisture exposure to my, my, my um, um, my, my start. It can af affect um, delay. germination delay. or delay, delay germination. germination. So you want that adequate moisture within the environment to, to facilitate germination. Now, water the plants in in the mor mor in the morning and avoid overwatering because wet foliage can trigger disease. Because yes. moisture create a perfect um, um, environmental condition condition for the proliferation of um, my microbes. Now, carrot um, needs loose, well-drained soil with a pH about 6 to 6.8. We remember, it's a root crop and as such, when you have that loose, fibre soil, soil, it really facilitates it's good penetration. root penetration, right? And that is where you, 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 you have larger root developing. So there's less restriction in, 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 in terms of expansion and growth of a carrot root. Now, you can incorporate some amount of compost um, in your soil, and that, that is to improve the overall condition of okay, the soil, soil because, you know, your compost um, act as a soil amendment, right? Good enough to, for, for you to achieve that pH, but also to create the right or the correct soil conditions to facilitate optimal um, growth and production of, 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 of course. Compost prom prom promotes um, um, nutrients because it's also a, a, a source of new, 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 new nutrients. And as I said earlier, it does improve your, your, your soil condition overall. What about land prep? It is very critical. Yes. Now, farmers engaging in crop in, in carrot production need to have a good land preparation before sowing these seeds. That's true. Now, land should be cleared of all vegetation. Soil should be well drained, roots that stands in water causing heads to rot. So if you have waterlogged soil, this will cause the, the heads of the carrot to start to decay. Okay. Create loose, friable soil mm -hmm. for good root penetration. penetration. You mentioned that, that before. Right. So you need that um, soil that is very finely tilted so right. it can penetrate the soil and the root can be grow freely and also absorb nutrients and absorb water freely. Good. We should plow at a depth at 12 inches and on flat beds or raised bed before is it before it is preferable. So you can put it on flat beds or raised bed. So whatever farmer prefers, you can sit on this. And this will be the ideal condition for your production. Okay, great. You had highlighted some some great points. So what um one that carrot um it can rot if, 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 if a waterlogged condition is actually um, cre cre created. Yes. Good. So it is important then for farmers to ensure that they establish drainage, drainage. to convey um, surface water. runoff or excess um, wa wa um, water, so, 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 so to speak. Also, I would also add in areas that is known to become inundated, 
right? Where you have flat land generally in a valley, or where you have a, a, a depression depending on land, land landscape, right? Yes. That um, it is ideally that persons um, establish um, your raise raise beds, beds to actually establish your carrots, right? And areas yes. where 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 you don't have that incident or history of um flooding or the land becoming inundated, then that would be a bit more ideal for, for your flatbed. Flat <laughs> Very much so. Preparation, great. Now, when planting carrots, persons can use the broadcasting method or persons can use mechanical or manual means of establishing your carrot onto your, your soil yes. surface. We also encourage Mr. Grant persons to mix your carrot, carrot with a bit of sand at a ratio of one to three. One to this three. would facilitate easier and better distribution of your carrot seeds. That is so true. And also, this will give you now the greater ability for the for, 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 the, for coverage over the area. Now, your germination for your carrots, person would, would want to know this, would occur between 14 to 21 days after planting. And we also want to hasten to say that persons should also try to apply your water to facilitate your germination. If you're not depending on the rainfall, we encourage persons to use your drip irrigation or your overhead um, irrigation to wet the soil so the, plant, so the seeds can pick up this moisture for easier germination. Right. Where you might find, Mr. Grant, that the plant might be established too thick, persons can, can go into thinning. And thinning is basically removing excess plants just to give that the plant the room, the root room. Right. Good? Right. And also to reduce the heavy foliage and uh, we are, might, might, you might introduce other fungal disease into your crops. So you can remove by thinning, person can reestablish these in, in other parts of, of, of the area, or person can discard, discard and, I, and I totally I, I agree with you because, you know, when you distribute carrots um, over the land, right, to sow, sow, sow them, and it is distributed in, in, in a way where it's too thick, the carrot it's, it, the, 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 the population density becomes extremely high, and yes. that in and itself will create somewhat of a microclimate, right? That will trap some amount of humidity, mm -hmm. and also where disease is of can, can, can concern. Now you have higher rates of disease, disease. development, and also um, transfer, right? Because from disease plants to disease plants. So what you need is proper spacing. And as you rightly highlighted earlier, this is why it is important for, for persons to properly distribute um, the carrot seeds over their plot of land at sowing. And you highlighted that they should use one part carrot to three part uh, sand, sand because sand. the sand help to even sand distribution. For even Separate, yeah, distribution. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I mean, many farmers tend not to want to thin out their carrot because they're saying, look here, every carrot that, that, that I actually remove from, from the bed is a carrot that I'm actually losing because carrot, you don't transplant carrot right so in an effort to avoid this it is it, it is important that we sow the carrot in the appropriate manner to begin with yes. so those points hi hi highlighted is very cool crucial and per point. person we would also observe when it is high too high of a high density that we have smaller um growing carrots S smaller roots why smaller roots because it's the space and they yes. compete they yes. will compete for what for, for, for space for light for water for nutrients for nutrients ideally so yes Great. So let's look, look, look at some um, cultural practices relating to um, disease control, pest control, weed management, of course. And we'll also be looking at um, fertilizer application. Now, disease control is generally done weekly or when necessary, it's necessary to prevent um, carrots from being affected by diseases. As it relates, relates to pest con control, um, it is rec rec recommended that we scout and observe the, the field for a sign of pest da damage and then to determine the application of the, of, of the, most, or the most suitable method of pest control, so to speak. Now, weed can control can be done mechanically or ke chemically, and, and we know for a fact that we do have some great pro products from our portfolio. portfolio that really gives farmers the solution that they need to deal with both um, disease control, pest control, weed um, control as well. And as I highlighted earlier, and we'll be also touch touching on fertilizer 
application, which is often best done um, at, at um, germination or after ger germination, depending on um, the cultural practices within dif different zones. Yes. Good. Now, major pests affecting carrots production locally. It is important that when we're dealing with pests, management that we are able to identify the pests or have an idea of the sort of pests that affect the particular crop that we are producing because by way of do, 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 doing that we can put together the right solutions our our pest program. control strategy we you know a pro, pro program for the best results so locally for carrot production um nematodes um tend to be an issue so um, many farmers may, 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 may be reaping carrot, and the carrot is not aesthetically pleasing where it has a lot of bumps, bumps. Um, right, bumps are what, like um, uh, uh, um, structures developing on the, and, uh, on the root, right? That is a re 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 result of nematodes. And also wire worms that actually will damage our feed and our bore our feed and the root, root, of, the root, 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 the root of the carrot. And these are two of the main um, soil pests that, that, that really affects um, carrot production. Um, in dealing with, 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 with this, we recommend that some amount of scouting is, 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 is done for you to monitor your insect pest population and for you to determine when it is of importance for you to um, implement your management um, strategies, um, so to speak. Management strategies may in include, of course, your cultural practices, right? When we speak of cultural pra practices, this also in including um, practices so, such as crop, rot um, um, crop rotation, because if you continuously um, cultivate one particular crop, crop. or crop within the same family group, then what you re re realize is that the, um, insect pests are disease that, um, that actually strives, yes, strives yeah. on, on that particular crop. Um, tend to you have greater incidence of disease or that sort of the disease of affecting that family of crop over, over time. So it, um, ideally, it is recommended for, for us to practice crop rotation, rotation. as a strategy. Yes. Also, to have field sanitation. Field sanitation is ideally important because I can tell you, if you practice good field sanitation practices, you would have truly eliminated a high percentage of incidence of the, 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 the disease. And where I stand, I can safely say about 80% of your disease issues would have been eliminated if you do practice um, field sanitation as a major. And would that, would that be said, Mr. Grant? Yes. Um, some farmers have this common practice. After harvesting the carrots, persons will leave the foliage into, in, in the field. Now, we would want to discourage that. True. Because that is basically giving the microclimate, as I said before, the environment for any other disease or pest to, to strive on that foliage area there. Because so you actually leave food. You leave food. <laughs> exactly. So if you go back to plant the right. same crop or a different crop, right. you might have an infestation taking place. Yeah, the there. possibility of, of So of we encourage us to remove the foliage after Right. Discard them somewhere else. Right. Or even, even to bury them, bury the stubble. Yes. Be, 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 bury the refuse, right? Which which which, which um, will help help to provide some more more amount of nutrient to to your soil. Great. Now, come on, the, the diseases um affecting carrot lo locally is our um powdery mildew. Of course, down the mildew, leaf splat, black um blight and bacterial soft rot. And these the the the, 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 the diseases can be um, can control. Your first line of defense is actually selecting a variety that gives you excellent disease resistance that is important and um, proper land preparation as well. And also sticking to, to the principles surrounding um, crop rotation and of course field sanitation. Now, as he looks at our um, our production guide um, for land clearing because persons will, will, will be cleaning down um, land in an effort to start production. What is it that, 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 that you do recommend? Okay, so in our, we recommending um, to farmers how to actually to, to prepare their land. Now, firstly, we must highlight that weeds 
are very competitive. Yes, they are. And they comp compete with the carrot for space, for water, or nutrients. So it's equally important as you have your prepare your land that you have a good weed management program from start to up to your production production um, and period. Now we at Eastern and Agro have a wide range of chemicals that is used as suitable for the production of carrot and also the weed management yes. of carrot. Now we have in our portfolio glyphosate, right. which is a very excellent pre-emergent emergent chemical. Is also a systemic chemical. Right. Let me say kills both foliage and root. Now we recommend to for the application of one to two teaspoon per gallon. And this is for land clearing, and it's a broad spectrum um, um, chemical. Dual goal, which is an excellent um, herbicide. Yes. It actually kills weed seeds. Mm. So for carrot production, before you sow your carrot seeds you actually would apply your dual goal. Now, it's a pre-emergent and post-emergent herbicide. We recommend that to apply this between 30 days before establishment. Also, we encourage persons in a moist condition, and we are actually, before planting, encourage farmers to actually to irrigate the soil so you can basically push some of the, the, the chemical further down into the soil. Now, what it does, it kills the weed seed. This would give you a greater protect, um, protection for your, carrot, um, for your carrot production over the period. We have our, in our arsenal also fusillade, which is a post-emergent and also a systemic, which, which is recommended to apply at one tablespoon or 0 0.7 to 1 liter to the, to the acre. Now, we, ha actually, we also have our pillar abusing. Yes. which is one of our excellent um, um, herbicide that controls your weed during your production period. This will control your weeds within that, 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 that um, um, period. It's a contact chemical. It applies at a two tablespoon to the, to the, um, to the gallon or 136 grams to, to, the, to, um, to, um, to, the, to the acre. Now, these are some of our herbicides that help to control the, your prolific weeds that will compete with your carrots for your space, for, for, for sunlight, for nutrients. So we at Eternal Agro have a wide range of, 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 of herbicides. And on our set here, we have some of these herbicides. Um, our pillar abusing is right there. So we are highlighting that also. Great, you highlighted some very important points, but I, I, I want to ask you, when do you use um, um, glyphosate? When, when, when do you use it? All right, so the glyphosate is, will be used in your land clearing. Okay, so, so, during, it, okay, so it's at that stage when you're actually stage. clearing the land. Clearing so the land. so, it, 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 so it's, it's before... Before your production For production, P, so P, for, P, right. for, for to remove any weeds, any um, vegetation, you use your glyphosate before. Okay, great. So it's just for clearing the clearing. land now so you can go, go in and really and start And then plow your, 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 your soil. Great, great. You also highlighted um, the, the, the dual goal. And what I got from the dual, dual goal is that if dual goal is used as a pre-emergent, right, it gives control of weed seeds. Mm -hmm. But the question is how long? How, what amount of um, um, control do you, do you get and how, how, how long? How long of a con control? The, 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 this will give you a control of about three to six months. Three to six months? Three to six months. Great, great. That, that, that's an that, excellent, excellent control. And that is what I want to bring out. And the base is that locally, labor can be very challenging and expensive. So if you have a product that can give you that sort of solution for at least three months, Labor free, we are for, for weed can, 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 control. can control. That I mean, that will lower your production costs significant, can, can, um, country and improve your earning potential. potential. And if it's a three month, we remember our varieties in terms of our harvesting mm -hmm. period is at 90 days to 110 days. days. No, you want to tell me that basically I will be having a weed free environment where my carrot can strive with minimum, minimal 
competition um, against weed. Yes. Now, that is excellent. And that is a sort of solution that needs to be highlighted. Mm -hmm. Because here at HL, that is a the sort of technology that we bring to the forefront to farmers to give them that sort of power in pr production to ensure that they, got the, that they get the, the, the best yield possible. That is an excellent product. Just that to highlight, highlight a little bit more about the dual goal. Yes. It is equally important to under farmers to understand when you apply your dual goal, you apply it in a reverse action. Yes. And that is critical because what, what you happen, you don't want to break, break the flim right. of the chemical when you apply it to, to the soil surface. Okay. Now, the chemical will go, get under the soil surface right. and penetrate the soil and now kill the weed seed. Oh, so that offers okay. the greater protection, as you say, between three to six months. Nice. No, because it kills the weed seed. It doesn't kill, kill weeds. It kills weed seeds. seeds. Good. So it's an excellent uh, uh, um, product. It will give you a long-lasting control, and, especially yes. for carrot. And that, that is good. And you also um, mentioned that it was ideally important for the soil to be moist. moist yes. Because uh, when, when the soil is moist and you apply your dual goal, it creates a thin flim um, over the soil surface and it moves along with your water through the column of the soil deeper into the depths. Of, 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 of the soil. So the greater the moisture content yes. and, and, and that um, um, penetration of, of the soil, or shall I say the movement of water, water. through the soil, then the dual goal and, and its active, which is S-metachlor, met, right? Yes. Gets the ability to come into contact with weed seed in the soil and deeper down within the soil sur sur surface and render them inactive. Very much so. Perfect. I, I get you. Um, Great. So let's also highlight some of the, 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 the insect pests that, 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 that does affect carrot production. Earlier, and I mentioned of, of your wire worms yes, yes. and, of course, your nematodes. nematodes. But what are some of the solutions from our portfolio that can be utilized to give you very our excellent control of wire worms and nematodes? And as, just, as you highlighted before about these, uh, um, these, these insect and pests, we have excellent um, products to control these. And we are recommended products would come in the form of Karatezion. Great. And that is now an excellent product. Uh, product. It has the Xeon technology. Yes. And yes. the Xeon technology is basically the, 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 the chemical is capsulated. Okay. So it forms a capsule. When you apply it to the surface of your plant, it, it forms a capsule attached to the, to, to, um, um, to the leaves of the plant and it releases burst and release solely. So persons might say a capsule. So for persons who have no um your your carnival kind of oil tablets. Right. That's a similar that's a similar example as what you, you will form form in. Right. And it breaks and release slowly. So if your insect pest might have migrated and come back into in, into the field, it will come in contact with that that, that chemical and render it useless um, excellent so what you're saying is that basically is that the active ingredient is encapsulated yes. great great i think i came across some literature where it also stated that the mere fact that it's encapsulated that property allows the product to to adhere or sticks to any surface so that that that, that means that it won't be washed off easily yes. by a rain rainfall so all it needs is a 15 15 minutes, minutes to half an hour um, for, for it to, 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 to actually adhere to the surface of, 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 of the, 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 the plant and irrigation, if even applied, applied. will not wash the, 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 the chemical off. It is also stated that it is um, photostable, so it's not affected by light or, or, or say, external temperature, temperature. right? Which is um, excellent. And that the mere fact that it is encapsulated as you highlighted and that it it bursts our cracks um gives it the slow release releasing property so therefore the active ingredient which is lambda cialotrin stays a bit longer, longer in the field and as such gives you better control over a longer period of time yes no that definitely will impact and your production in terms of your production cost. Because if you're having a chemical like um, karatezian yeah. that gives that slower release properties over a longer period of time, it means that it will reduce your need of consistent spraying, yes. right? Yes. 
Perfect. give you a greater protection and longer, longer um, protection. That is, that, 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 that is excellent. It is equally important to, to, for us to highlight the application rate of yes. this chemical. Yes. Now, the carotidzion can be applied at one teaspoon per gallon of water. Right. Good, or 225 ml to, per acre. Per acre. Great. Now, the nematode, as you mentioned, that create these warts or these, or these, these bumps on the, on the carrots. Right. Now, the Actara is an excellent yes. Um, um, yes. solution for that. You're so true. Now, the Actara can be applied as a drench, right. so a soil drench. Right. Now, when you apply a soil drench, it will get into the soil and actually control or reduce the infestation mm. of nematodes. Good, good. So, your Actara then is not only an insecticide, as most people would have, would have thought. It's also a nematicide, because in truth and fact, nematodes are different from insects. Insect. Great. So now you're, you're, you're getting um, um, more benefit, benefit. To, to, to say from your Actara that is function in this capacity as a nematicide in control soil-borne insect pests such as nematodes. nematodes. But I will also want to take the opportunity to highlight that um, it has, and the reason why it is able to do this is because it has the ability to stay active within the soil for some period, some period, and that is what gives you that control. control. Also, it is taken up by the crop where it is distributed um, upwards, where it's said to be acropetal, where it moves from the root system up to the foliage of the, of the plant. plant through the vascular but tissue. No, excellent. that is excellent. That excellent. is the sort of technology yes. that should be used locally to give far, farmer, farmers excellent solutions. Yes. So to our farmers, the application rate for your Actara is half a teaspoon per gallon or 170 gram to per, um, per, per acre. Now this the solution, Mr. Um, Grant, gives our, our farmer added protection and long-lasting protection. It gives you protect your, you throughout your, your crop period. So with these, product, with, with these products, it gives you, the farmer, a greater benefit in terms True. of potential earnings. And I do, do agree. And in terms of benefit, you know, so often farmers tend to, um, in an effort to get the best out of production, they, they, they do use some sort of stimulant to stimulate growth. I just want to take the opportunity to highlight that if, if, if you have been utilizing Actara, Actara, one of the novelty benefits of Actara is that it stimulates a protein synthesis that results in vigorous root growth. And carrot is a root crop, and you really need that root growth. So if you have been using Actara on your crops, in this case, on your carrot, so to speak, it will also facilitate your expansion and extension in terms of growth of your carrots. Excellent. Yes. So Good. Mr. Grant, yes. now, what about disease management? In now, disease management is equally important as any other um, areas that we have look, 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 looked at. Very much critical. When we speak about the, the disease, we really speak about pathogenic infection, infection that is caused from microbial organisms. And these com commonly, you know, um, uh, um, fungus and of course, um, bacteria, um, so to speak. Now, early on in the pre presentation, we, you, you highlighted that it's recommended if you're providing irrigation or water, so to speak, that you water early in the wow. morning and that is, a, is, is so is that you don't keep a, 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 a moist environment. Right. Because if you water during the more, more morning, by the time the evening, you, you, um, in the evening, the water would have been absorbed by, by the plant, but not only that, but the excess would have been evaporated. Right. So you have more of a drier condition mm -hmm. that is really not conducive to majority of um, fun, for, uh, um, fungal formation. So one of the things that we do know about fungal infection is that they tend to, to like a moist, moist condition. Um, environment. environment. It's more conducive to their proliferation. So we just need to get that 
out as a part of our disease management pro program. Now, some of the diseases that do affect carrots is your powdery mil 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 mildew, which is quite a common um, the, the, the disease. It almost wants to appear as if there's a bit of flour that is um, that, that, sprinkled, uh, that, that is sprinkled on your, on your plant leaf, especially the underside. Right? Powdery mildew also have down mildew, which, are, which appear as um, oil-soaked um, um, spot, yellow spots that over time be become um, 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 brownish. Good, we also have our leaf spots and blight, of, 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 of course. And of course, we do have our bacterial soft rot. These are common the, 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 the diseases. For your leaf spot um, and blights and your bacterial soft rot, these tend to be a bit more common under wetter. Conditions, condition, so so to speak. Now, as it relates to the 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 the, the, the solution from our H and Agro portfolio in controlling these pathogenic uh, my, microbes or disease, I should say, powdery mildew. Mil, mil, mil we have an excellent pro product that 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 is called Score. Score will address majority of your fungal issues, right? Actually, Score Score. Score as a triazole has the ability to control three of your four major um, fungal groups. So we're talking about those that is in your deuteromycota group, your 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 ascomycota and your basidiomycota group. So score as a tri tri triazole has that ability. So my majority of fungal leaf spots, um, score has the ability to control those as it relates to your downy mildew which is really a falls in the family of water moles which which, which is a umai seeds or your umai quota um group we recommend the use of amistar Am amistar which is a strombo lurin mm. its active ingredients is um azithostrobium which is a very potent um compound with this family of, of chemi chemical, it has one of the broadest spectrum range of any um, fungicide known globally. It has the ability to, to, to actually address or eliminate your four major fungal groups that tend to affect majority of cultivated crops. So it has the, po the, the, the potency to addressing your downy mildew. In terms of your leaf spot and, and your blights, we recommend um, your Rido mill, mm -hmm. excellent, because it is dual action, dual action in that it gives you both contact protection as well as systemic and systemic on the basis that um, um, a part of its active ingredient consists of a product that is called metalaxyl. And metalaxyl has the ability to penetrate into the plant um, tissue and vascular sy 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 um, um, system to actually um, are arrest fungal microbes that have actually entered the, the, the tissue of the plant. So the metalaxyl component gives you that systemic um, action and also eradicate the, the, the um, act as an eradicant in that it will actually um, render those fungal microbes that have entered the, the plant the, the tissue inactive, inactive, right, by, by way of um, er eradicating them. The, the other component, other component, which is a part of it, um, the freedom is active ingredients is mancozeb. Mm -hmm. And mancozeb gives you excellent, excellent protection, right? Excellent pro protection. It's a multi, it's, 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 it's a multi-site action com component. And be, be, be because of this, uh, fungal microbes doesn't develop re re resistance quickly to products containing um, um, mancozeb. So here we are highlighting Ridomil containing both metalaxyl and mancozeb. And this is what actually puts Ridomil in a class Plans, by itself. itself, giving you excellent control Total over leaf spot Total and blight. As it relates to bacterial spots, right, our bacterial issue, your bacterial issue, um, bacteria in general is, is different from your from fungus. So what you will re realize is that most fungicides does not have a bacterial action. But um, those fungicides that tend to be copper-based, 
right? So for example, in our portfolio, we have our co side, side, which is a copper base, copper hydroxide is the active ingredient. Yeah. It gives you excellent con control of your bacterial um, is is issues. Now, as it re relates to, 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 to your dosage rate, for your score is actually one teaspoon per gallon, one to two t t t teaspoon per ge ge gallon, and a teaspoon here is referred to five ml. Mm -hmm. So it's anywhere between five and ten ml per gallon of wa water. water, and that will amount to a, to about um, nine um, ninety m ml mm -hmm. to to um, forty five to ninety. Mm -hmm. m m M M L really, really, really. No, your um, Amistar is one teaspoon, which is actually um, five grams, and to a to a forty-five gallon drum that will amount to about two hundred and twenty-five grams. Um, to um, in terms of usage to to your acre for your Rido meal is twenty-two point five grams, which is a tea, which is a tablespoon and a half, and that will am amount to about a thousand and twelve point five grams. To the acre for your core side your core side is a tablespoon which is 15 ml to the um to your to the acre and that can falls um a little bit um build a thousand a thousand grams to, to the acre All right very good yeah, man great no Fertilizer application is important because you know with, so. with, with, with the cultivation of crops, especially if, if, if you're not um, using virgin land um, um, for, for, your, for our field that has been continuously yes, utilized, you know, over time, fertilizer will be depleted. Nutrients but eat right, your, your, your nutrients will be depleted. And even for our vir virgin land, um, especially for, 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 for persons who, who don't have a good awareness of the the nutrient yes. constituents of the soil, so to speak, right? Um, it is important for, for you to ensure that your plant has access to nutrients. nutrients. And this is basically done by way of the application of fertilizer. So, Mr. Gardner wanted to actually walk us through the fertilizer program, the traditionally used fertilizer okay. program for carrots. Okay. So for carrots, it is equally important to have adequate nutrients. So we spoke about land preparation, we spoke about weed management, and now we are into fertilizer um, our management our program. Now, persons would want to know that we at Internet Agro provide solution that gives them the best offering in front of, in front of nutrients. Now we're going to look at traditional blends of fertilizer that persons use, and at the period that person should apply these, this fertilizer. Now, the germination of, of a carrot, we would recommend that persons after the two weeks, after germination of two weeks, after two weeks of germination, persons would use a, a blend of 11, 22, 22. All right. Good? And this would be done in a broadcasting method, that right. basically just broadcasting the fertilizer over the surface of the soil. Great. We recommend that we you fertilize not in the early morning when the moisture level is high because we don't want the granular fertilizers to stick onto the, the leaf of the plant and, and cause burning. Right. Good. Eight to 10 weeks, you would apply your 14, 28, 40, which gives you a balanced nutrient for your root development. Mm. Good. At that stage, it gives you the development to the root, the, the bulking that, that you're looking for. Right. In that, that period, and you also would also broadcast that Great. with every 14 days, you apply our algas right. and our multi feed root vegetable fertilizer. Now, algas it is an excellent organic biostimulant, yes, it helps with your root development, it helps with your foliage development, also, and also it can be applied in the early stage of your production. To help with that rigor, rigorous root development in your carrot production. Our multi feed root development vegetable can be applied through, through foliar. It is absorbed by the leaf and absorbed by the leaf, and then no, it helps with the development 
of your root, of your carrot roots. Now, these are excellent um, 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 solution for your multi, multi feed. It is 1.1 pounds to the acre. 1.1 pounds. And, and they come in 2.2 pounds. And bag. they come in 2.2 bags. So that but means uh, you're getting um, a buck for a um, dollar for your um, <laughs> yep. pay. Uh, de definitely so. Good. So these are some of the fertilizer program ma management. Also, we at HN Agro, we can give persons who would feel free to contact us. We'll give you a full program for your fertilizer program for your carrots. Great. Um, as it really, really, really is to the best tips, um, um, looking at the best tips for, 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 for um, farmers, okay. what are some of the, 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 the areas that they should truly, truly focus on and what should be bring to the forefront for, for during carrot pro production. production. Right. So we, we, we need to water our often, often. as yes. um, I, I, I like it because I said to you er, 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 earlier, um, water is, is most critical during the germination stage and also at um, near ma 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 maturity for root expansion Pension. to actually um, 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 take place. Now, it is recommended for you to pro provide adequate irrigation for proper ger germination to take place. Right, and one sprouted carrot will, will need about an inch of water um, per per week. Um, loosen uh, um, loosen soil, meaning that at preparation, at preparation, you you want to plow your soil adequately, at least to um um, um twelve inches in terms of de de um, depth. Soil should be loose and friable, fri fri and that improves. Um, drainage, but um, most important, it gives the carrot the ability or the up, up opportunity for deeper penetration within the soil and, and for expansion with, with, without the compression of the soil around that developing root, Very right? Much, yeah. And you yeah. also get more straight, straighter roots yes. when you have that um, friable soil that the root can easily penetrate, which is great. Now, you said to give um, adequate spacing and as such we recommend that that you sow lightly and as what you highlighted earlier on mix yes. one part sand one, no one, one part, part carrot, carrot to three, three parts, parts sand and that is for for, 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 for even distribution for even distribution and if you distribute or broadcast your carrot seeds over, over over the land and 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 on germination it is compact it is recommended that, that you resort to what? Thinning, thinning them out, thinning them out. right? Because th thinning them out so as to give your carrot the, the chance to adequately grow and, 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 and they, 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 develop. They, they develop good size um, roots, um, so, 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 so to speak. Now, fertilize, fertilization is in, 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 in important in keeping your carrots healthy. Um, a, a month and a half after planting, your plant should be um, fertilized. Carrots love phosphate-based fertilizer yes, because you know phosphate help in root de development. De 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 development. But you can also add algas, as I like it, plant tonic, and of course our multi-feed root vegetable fertilizer to facilitate good root development. So here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen, I can assure you adhering to these practices can make the difference between success and failure. Great. Any, 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 any last words? Yes, I just want to encourage our farmers to come to HNL Agro, speak to our reps. We will be able to guide you, to give you relevant information on your carrot production. Great. Andre, now we're going to look at cucumbers. And you and I know and that cucumber is no stranger to, to the Jamaican diet. Right? Now, we know our h and agro -port portfolio offers four excellent varieties of cucumber to the local market. However, let's, let's give an overview of um, cu 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 cucumber. 
Kukumba, um, its botanical name is Kuki, um, Kukumis sativa, and it's uh, within the family um, Cucurbit ATC. So it's a Cucurbit. So it's related to your pumpkin, watermelon, your squash. Good? And it, 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 it originates in South Asia. Actually, it is said to um, be native to India. Right, good enough. Our HNL portfolio offerings um, presents four wonderful variety to the local market, and those variety are Thunder, Thunderbird, Eureka, and of course our new Cuke and the Black, that is Bristol. Great. Now, um, cucumber. Is a warm season crop. It's vining and it's an annual plant in the in the fam family cucurbitaceae, as I highlighted, um, and it's grown for its edible fruits. Yes. Um, the, the cucumber plant is um, it's a sprawling vine with large leaves and curling tendrils. And tendrils are those what we call them. So it's a modified root that that is found near to each um, leaf. Um, so to speak. The leaves of the plant are, are arranged um, alternately on the vines and it have about three to seven pointed lobes and are quite here. So cucumber leaves tend to have so much like a velvety feel. Good. The cucumber plant produces yellow flowers and um, that insect pests, natural that insects are attracted to, right? Great, which is a good thing because they, they need to be pollinated. Good. And the, the, the flowers can, can be about four centimeters or 1.6 inches in um, diameter. The cucumber fruit varies in, in, in shape, but is generally a curved cylinder rounded at both ends that can reach up to about 60 centimeters, which is about 24 inch in length and 10 centimeters, 3.9 in diameter. Meter, so that's a fairly big cucumber side. But you do have smaller ver 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 uh, um, um, varieties. Pickle Cuc varieties. Right. Right. That is your, your, your pickle. Now, cucumber plants are annual plants, surviving only one growing season. And the vines can reach up to 5 meters or 16.4 feet in length. length. And again, this varies with the variety. Good. Now, you know, we in terms of cucumber, a lot of persons don't know that cucumber, despite having a high percentage of water, that it has excellent nutritional benefits. And that is what I'm, I'm going to need you to highlight for us. Now, cucumber, for persons who are moving on the more health conscious side, yeah. provides an excellent solution for that. Persons who are into green juices, nice. that complements whatever you're blending, cucumber can give you that flexibility to be, to be, um, to be to, for your green juice if a person is more health conscious. Great. Now, it is not naturally sweet, but Mr. Grant would mention that it has a high water content, yes. and that is also excellent for your dietary and your fiber. It also has fibers yes, that provide good bowel, bowel, bowel movement. Good. So it also provides a load of vitamin. Vitamin B1, B2, B3, B5, and B6. Yes. They also provide folic acid and vitamin C, iron, calcium, zinc, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium. It is also has 95% water. Whoa. So you so want to tell me that cucumber has so much, I mean, vitamins and minerals packed into that one fruit one fruit Whoa. it is it can be a, um, a slice can be used as a period or yeah. slice right. give you almost instant relief to sunburn, sunburn. skin so that, that that is true i've i've, I've seen it so where is used who might sunburn. be exposed yes. to the high rate really um high level of sun right. if you slice that and put on 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 on, 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 on the sun scarred skin it reduces that significantly. Great. Cucumber can also help lower your eye um, puffiness. Yes. So persons who might have baggy eyes because it's a lack of, of sleep. Right. If you cut that side of tomato, relax and put it over the eyes, it gives you excellent reduction in the, those puffy eyes. 
And these are some quick facts on your cucumber. Great, great, great. Now, we're going to look at some of our varieties from our HL Agro seed portfolio that we do offer to our market. We do have our newest um, cook or cook, cook cumba, um, so to speak, which is our Bristol, Bristol. variety. Can, can you give, give, give us some of the characteristics and, and fe features? Yes. yes. Now, Bristol, which is from our Seminist supplier, is also an excellent cucumber and has just taken onto the, our local market. Now, this Bristol cucumber is a gynaceous hybrid slicing cucumber variety. It's an early mature variety yeah. within 55 days. So it comes in, 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 in 55, 55 yes. days. Good. So that gives you a greater turnover time in your production period for persons who are producing um, cucumber. Yes. It produces high yield of straight dark green, eight inches slicing cucumber. Yes. Now, that is excellent for persons within the local market. Persons don't, some person like that type of, um, that type of um, 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 cucumber. The, the, the length is perfect for the household use yes. and other purposes. Yes. It exhibits exceptional disease resistant, yes. such as our powdery mildew, mm -hmm. our mold, downy mildew, cucumber mosaic virus, our yellow mosaic virus, yeah. angular leaf spot, anthrax nose, scabs, papaya ring virus, and these are just some of the virus that affects cucumber, and this bristol is resistant against these, 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 these disease. Great. It produces perfectly shaped fruit with great quality and color. Some persons like a more darker green cucumber. It gives you that darker green, and it's very appealing in your meal preparation and different um, 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 purposes. Great. Um, plants are vigorous and have a nice balance of vegetative growth, viruses, food production, vigorous food production. Nice. Those are some excellent points that you have actually brought out. I can't help it but to highlight the disease resistant package that it actually comes come with. Resistance against powdery mildew, downy mildew, cucumber mosaic virus, zucchini, yellow mosaic virus, angular leaf spot, anthrax nose, scab, and papaya ring spot virus. And as you and I know, once a plant has, has a virus, there's no cure. Yes. So, and these are some of the common virus affecting cucumber production locally. So if you have a variety that gives you this sort of excellent disease resistant package against these common diseases that affect majority of cucumbers locally, I'm, I'm, I'm mean, this would be of advantage to many cucumber farmers because now you have a variety that has excellent performance out there in the field. Okay. And I can tell you, that is a sort of characteristic or features of a cucumber that makes a cucumber actually make sense, if, if I get my gist. Yes, Mr. Right, Grant. great. Now, Mr. Grant, we have thunder. What are some of the characteristics of, of a thunder? Thunder. Well, I wanted to, to, to tell you, thunder is an exceptional very, very, um, very, 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 it comes into maturity at about 56 um, days. So it's an early okay. maturing variety. It is used mainly for slicing. Great. Um, thunder um, It's dark green, slicing cuc cucumber hybrid, and it produces smooth, glossy, uniform, and vigorous vines. Right? Good enough. Thunder has the potential to produce a high percentage of super quality select fruits and it's highly um floriferous in that it produces a lot of flower and each flower is basically a fruit being produced so it's highly productive it produces fruits that are uniformly um straight straight averaging about four pounds um, per vine, it produces smooth, dark green fruits, and I said that, that, that they are quite glassy, so in terms of aesthetics, they are very appealing to, to, to the eye. And fruit averages um, anywhere between 20.3 to 22.9 centimeter in length. So you're looking at excellent 
food quality. And those are the characteristics and features of our Thunderbird. I would just want to know, Kukuma. what is the importance of having a vigorous vine? A vigorous vine? Yes. No, a vigorous vine really speaks to, to the overall growth and productivity of, 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 of um, the crop. Because if you have a, vig a vigorously growing crop with the, that, 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 that has robust vine, it means that the plant uh, um, exhibits, the, uh, ex 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 exhibits a quick growing property that will support um, foliage growth, but not only that, but also for the production of your cucumber fruits overall. Okay. Right. So that's an ex excellent qu qu um, um, quality that is worthwhile highlighting. Um, so, um, talking about um, thunder do lead me to asking you about our thunder, thunder bird, because you have thunder, oh, and yeah. now we're going to the thunder bird. bird. No, Great. Oh, so thunder bird. Yes, tell me about uh, our thunder bird. It is also an excellent variety, Mr. Mr. Grant. Performance is, is over, the, over the charts. No, yes. it's an anganaceous hybrid slice in cucumber. And we know that persons like to have sliced tomatoes in their, in, 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 in their vegetable dishes. It is um, very vigorous and produce productive plant type that man, uh, matures within 60 days. Yes. So if we can recap, our Bristol is 55 days of maturity. Right. Our Thunder 56. is 56 days. Right. And now our Thunderbird. Thunder is 60, 60 days. days. This is definitely showing you a, a pattern yes, of maturity, yes. right. early maturity, so persons can basically produce number of crops throughout the growing season. Yes. And this is very critical for a person to understand. It has a high yielding potential with smooth and cylindrical, dark green, spineless fruit. Yes. It's a gynaceous plant type. Will need, will need a pollinator. So for gynaceous plant, you will need to pollinate, helping help the pollination process yes. of the of, of the plant. It's exceptional um, multivirus and fungal disease resistant package, yes. offering robust resistance to a number of common diseases. Yes. It is high resistant to scab, to anthracnose, to watermelon mosaic virus, and yellow mosaic virus. These are some of the excellent diseases which are packaged that the Thunderbird has. It gives you a large fruit. Yes. And it is highly productive within our region. So like, like, like an exceptional variety. I am familiar with Thunderbird and it produces very large cucumbers. cucumbers. I, 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 I can attest to, to, to that. You highlighted earlier that, is, um, that, that it is Guyane, um, 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 Guyanoecious, yes, right. And what, what what it is saying to our viewers is really that the cucumber pro produces an abundant of female flowers, mm -hmm. right. It also produces male male flowers, but to a smaller um, extent, a small percentage of, of of male flowers. The beauty of it is that those male f f flower that is pro pro produced will pollinate yes. or produces pollen yes. for the pollination of the of female, female flower. So it means that the more female flower you have on your plant is the, um, the, 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 the greater the production, right? So that, 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 that is an excellent characteristics of the variety. Yes. Now, we have the Eureka, Mr. Mr. Grant. Tell us about the Eureka. Um, Eureka. Variety. I have found it. <laughs> well, as it re really is to, to the U U U U Eureka, it's, it's really a pickle type cucumber. It's really a smaller ver 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 variety. And it matures within 57 days after plant planting or sowing the seeds. It's dark green with white stripes. Fruits average about 1.5 to 5 inches in terms of length. It's very firm and com compact. Com compact compact and it gives you excellent resistance to downy mildew, angular leaf, leaf, leaf spot, scab, and chuck nose um, races one and two, um, powdery mildew, papaya ring spot virus, water, melon mosaic virus, zucchini, yellow virus, as well as your cucumber mosaic vi virus, right? And it yields about eight to 12 tons per acre. As it really, really is to a size, as I highlighted earlier, yes, yes. Um, your Eureka can also be used for slicing purposes, right? So 
um, it can be both used as a pickle as well as a slicing variety. That is excellent. So dual purpose in terms of use. That is exceptional. And I must say to you, Mr. Grant, just last week, I was in Topping St. Elizabeth and I have a farmer there. And the persons who are going to the market is request, requesting the Eureka variety, the pickle type, because they're saying that is what the housewives are requesting right now. So this is an excellent variety, dual purpose slicing plus yes. pickle is excellent for that, for, um, for, 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 for production. True. And, and that really, um, that, 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 that really, um, brings up a thought to really go, go back as it relates to your Thunderbird because we do know that our Thunderbird pro, pro produces very large and heavy fruits. But we have seen where the juice industry locally, right, those manufacturers that makes cucumber juice mm. because there's a greater exception now our taste for cucumber juice. juice. And as such, there's a de de demand for larger cu cucumbers that have a high um, water content and our thunderbird is one of those variety that really fits perfectly well into that um market so so to speak now as it really is to our planting schedule cucumber is a tropical vegetable good enough and it can be cultivated year round cucumber prefers warm warm weather condition averaging anywhere between 18 degrees celsius and 24 de de degrees Celsius, ideally above, above 16 de degrees Celsius at night, so to speak, and above 22 degrees cel Celsius during okay. the day. And it will strive um, extremely well re within these um, temperature re re ranges. So cucumbers can thrive in an area of open field plots exposed to full sun, and they love that. Um, the full the full sun be, be being exposed to to um, full 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 sun. It is recommended that you pro provide one to two inches of water once or twice a week at the root zone to maintain soil moisture. Because as 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 you know, cucumber don't like to remain wet or has consistent um, moisture or wet heavy moisture, I should say, on their um, foliage. No. Um, it is also rec 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 recommended that you water the plants in, in, in the morning so as to av avoid um, build-up of water and, and the plant foliage if it is done during the, the evening. And as we had highlighted, that um, having that high moisture can, can content create a perfect environment, environment for um, um, fungal, in fungal infection. Cucumber likes loose, loose well-drained soil with a pH between 6 and Seven, we also re recommend that you can incorporate uh, a layer of, of, of compost, right, um, to um, facilitate um, the presence of nutrients or nutrients availability and to improve the, 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 the soil conditions so as to facilitate adequate growth. You can also side dress with some com 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 compost um, during the, the, the development or when the first runners runners. They, 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 they develop and again when the flowers start to, to be produced. Yes. Okay. No, you, you, no, you know, proper land, proper um, it's pre important. preparation is, of course, is, is important. I would like you to shed some, 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 some light on that. Well, traditionally, cucumber are grown on the roads along ridges or flat beds or chalices. Yes. It, um, if ridges are established, land should be plowed or forked at a depth of 12 inches. Right. Organic matter can be added to the soil to improve fertility and texture. Our 40 plus fertilizer, it is 4 3 3, can be applied. We give you maximum and optimum um, 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 nutrients to your, to your plants. Great, great. That, that is so true. Now, land prep, you, you can prepare cucumber seed, 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 seedling in um, cell, cell, cell trees that, that, that are relatively large. So, great recommendation is that you can use your 78 cell, cell trees for, for, for Plant, planting. planting. Yeah, and no, they, um, this is not something that is, um, some farmers, I should say, do practice this method, method of catching their cucumber seedlings in tree acclimatize them before planting right so 
the, the root ball of the cucumber dough is not disturbed because in truth and in fact, uh, in fact cucumber doesn't like their root to be yeah. disturbed. So that's so per, so persons need to take care when actually re removing your cucumber seedlings from those trees. And if you realize it is the large cell trees we use and not the smaller Small ones, one. this, this is to really avoid damaging or disturbing root de de development, right? So seedlings can be planted anywhere, in, anywhere at three weeks or four week, week, three weeks or when they are about four to six in, oh, inches in terms of height. Ensure plants are hard enough or acclimatized, acclimatized to the field conditions before plant, 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 planting. Good. Uh, or you can direct sow, sow seeds, establish drills or holes three, three, three feet up apart along rows and four feet between rows. If you are doing your trellis um, methods of cultivation, which is something that many farmers has been practicing, practicing on the basis that it takes the plant or the vine. Off and the of course, it's subsequent to the fruit of the, the ground and gives better handling and management and maximize the usage of space. So if you're using this me me method, you can um, have a higher planting density and as such plant your, your, your cucumbers at least at uh, one to two feet along the, 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 the rows by three feet between rows. Good? Right, um, you, you know, as it relates to um, land, land preparation as, as, as well and hilly terrain, it is ideally for us to run the, 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 the furrows along the, the contour and not along the, 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 the gradient. And this is, is to av avoid um, erosion issues yeah. and so on. And level land, you can run your, 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 your furrows north to south and so, so as, so as for, for the capturing of um, maximum um, sun, sunlight. sunlight and also you can cut your furrows just a few days be, be, be before um, planting so as to minimize weed growth um, so to speak yes tell us a little about about, about the, 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 the planting of cucumber so seeds some persons embark in direct seeding yes or direct sowing yeah and place two cucumber seeds directly into the drills or, or holes yes seeds should be sown no more than a half to a one to one inch in depth. This, if we recommend a person not to bury, this, bury the, the, the seed too deeply into the soil, so it, because it, it, the seed, the, the plant is a surface feeder. Yes. Want to come up. Germination occurs between three to four days after planting, so it germinates very quickly. Yes. Molding should be done two weeks after planting or transplanting. It's optional, so persons can mold for give you adequate yes. support right. around the plant root. Uh, some person would not mold, uh, depending on your your your, your preference your, 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 as a farm. Your preference, yes. Planting cucumber um, um, density, the planting space, direct planting is three feet by four feet, which equals to fourteen feet. Um, the, the, the is per acre is three thousand one hundred and three thousand one hundred and one plants to the acre. And for trellis is two feet by three feet, equal to six feet, is 7,260 plants to the acre, or 18,150 to the hectare. And for direct seeding, it mm -hmm. is 7,779, 78 to the hectare. Great, 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 great. That that say 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 is in a lot lot. Now, in terms of our cult, cultural pra practices, it um surrounding um pest and disease management as well as weed weed can can uh, um um can control. We do know that these factors do impact on, on, on your crop production, especially if you don't pay attention to these. So for for disease can can control, ideally it is recommended that persons do a weekly do, do, um, carries, carries out their disease management control or practices on a weekly basis or when necessary to, so as to prevent your cucumber from being affected by diseases. Remember that oftentimes that um, these, the, 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 the diseases can affect your crop and because the signs and symptoms are not readily, readily noticed um, to the eye. Um, by the time you have noticed the signs and symptoms, symptoms. oftentimes it's a little bit too, too late. 
late. I remember these, these, these are microscopic or, or, or organisms. You yes. will not readily see them with the naked eye. And as such, it is recommended why you, you have a robust disease management program, program. and you weekly um, implement strategies at, at addressing the disease. For your pest can, can control, you can scout your field and scout in me um, and scout in, in involved of the via, 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 via and for you to determine when it is necessary for, for you to go, 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 go in and actually implement your pest control measures. No, weed, 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 weed can, can, can control is, um, as it really, 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 really is to addressing the issue of weed, this is generally done at land preparation where land is clear and also during your production um, phase. And weed control can be done me mechanically or it can be done chemically. chemically. Um, fertilizer ap ap application is, is also of great in, 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 in importance for, for you to provide adequate amount of nutrients to the soil for uptake in order to facilitate um, um, optimal growth and for, for you to realize the, the true potential of the variety that you are growing. Now, as it relates to pests and disease, Management, your major pests affecting um, cucumbers are basically like your aphids, cucumber beetles, white flies, trips, and these are just some of them. You, 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 you do have more. Um, as I highlighted, scouting is very Im Im important in um, monitoring your insect pests. Yes. Population and, and to assess the, the degree of damage, right? Because there's a, what, what we call an insect pest it's threshold. Um, threshold. Right and and scouting and observation slash monitoring your field will give you the ab 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 ability to tell you when it is necessary for for you to go in and implement your pest can control or your disease control measure management um strategies as usual crop rotation is is of great in, 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 in importance having a good field sanitation um. Um, practices um, as a preventative method, buying disease, um, um, buying or purchasing seeds from a reputable source because planting disease-free seeds is of great importance because there are particular diseases that can be transmitted by way of um, infected seeds. So these are just some of the things that can be done in an effort to safeguard your crop pr 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 production before even um planting some of the common diseases affecting cucumber production would have been like your downy mildew powdery mildew alternera and track nose and of course leaf spot diseases such as cerospora great mr garden so with all that has been said i'd really wanted to really walk us through our hnl agro cucumber production guide okay and as we had highlighted before mr grant we have some excellent um, products for weed, 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 weed management in our cucumber production. Yeah. Our first herbicide would be glyphosate, which is a broad spectrum systemic herbicide yeah. that should be used at the land preparation stage. Yes. And it can be applied at one to two tablespoons to the gallon or 0 0.6 to 1.3 liters to the acre. Great. We also have glyquat, which is also a broad spectrum contact herbicide yes that can be applied at one to two tablespoon to the gallon or 0 0.6 to 1.3 liter to the acre. We also have our dual goal that we had highlighted before, which is an excellent um, chemical where it actually kills weed seeds. It's important for us to highlight that. It kills weed seeds. It should be applied in a reverse action so that I do not person would not break the flame of the chemical or the active ingredient or which, which would come in contact with the surface of the soil it should be applied under moist condition where moisture would activate the active ingredient and pushes that active ingredient to the soil where the seeds would absorb that moisture along with the active ingredient and 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 and, and, and actually control those weed seeds it would actually be applied at a rate of two tablespoon to the gallon right. or 0 0.6 liter to the acre. We also have fusillade, 
which is also a systemic chemical that kills grasses. It should be applied at one tablespoon to the gallon or 0.6 liters to the acre. And these are excellent um, 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 uh, herbicides that give you maximum production um, 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 protection for against weeds for your crops. Great. You had highlighted the fusillade. So the fusillade can be utilized when? When, when do you use the fusillade? Okay. So it can be used for utilize during the production of the uh, production period. During the production period. period. So it's a selective, selective. Um, post-emergent herbicide, herbicide. Side, side. And if it's selective, it will mean that it would have affected your cucumber it would like crop. The, 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 um, the, the, the cucumber crop. Great, great, great. Now, that is excellent. And that is the sort of solution that cucumber farmers need. Now, our HNL pest management pro program involves the use of, of um, a variety of, pro of, of products to give you the best um, crop care solution to addressing your pest and disease issues that may arise during pro production. But as I, I, I highlighted with any crop, it is important for you to I identify those pests that will be affected in the crop in an effort for, for you to select the right products that are designed to addressing those pests. One of the common pests affecting cucumber pro pro production is snails and slugs. Yes. Did you know that snails and slugs um, create significant, significant damage if you don't keep them in, in, in check to your cucumber crops? What, what we have is that we recommend deadline. Um, dead, deadline comes in the form of um, pellets that, 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 that is um, placed on the land as a bait and it, it has an attract and that means it gives out a Terrible. smell mm -hmm. that actually attracts those snails and who are slugs and when they feed or eat the 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 deadline or ingest the the deadline I should, should, should say it actually kills them. It is rec recommended to use about nine pounds of the deadline per year, year, year per acre. Um, some of the other pests affecting cucumber is your white fly, your ear feeds, and of course your 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 trips. And these can be easily addressed using um, um, in, in, in insecticides such as your Actara and your NGO. Your Actara is 2.5 grams per gallon. Your NGO is also 2. is 2.5 uh, milliliter per gallon. If you're using Actara per acre, that, that is equivalent to about 117 mm -hmm. grams. To the acre and it has as a PHI at three days for your NGO, which is 2.5 um, um, ml per gallon, that, that is equivalent to about 112.5 ml per gallon of water, and that is a, 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 a also gives you a PHI of three days. We have other devastating insect pests such as your cucumber. Um, um, bee, bee, beetles, I have different type of cucumber bee, bee, bee beetles. What can be used to give you excellent control, of course, is a silicon, and of course, your karate. If I have silicon, it's 10 ml per gallon of, of water, and this will um, be, be equivalent to about 450 ml per acre, acre, and it has a pH of four days. For your karate, it is um, 5 ml per gallon and this is equivalent to 225 um, ml and it has a p um 225 ml per acre having a pH which is a pre interval of seven um days now cucumbers are also plagued by caterpillars which is the larvae of moth and butterfly um, um, um species and i can tell you um, first hand that first hand that if you don't control um, these these pests they can create significant damage both to your crop and devastate your fruit. What we do recommend in the use is the use of products such as match, which matches a larvae side and it targets the larvae, which is the cater the caterpillars. Uh, so it has ovicidal properties, and that allows the chemical to actually um, damage the eggs. Now, in terms of dosage rate, it's about um, two teaspoons per gallon of water, and that actually is equivalent to about 450 ml per 
um, acre. We ha have having a PHI of 20 days. So the recommendation is that you start to use your match within the earlier period of the uh, uh, of your pro production size cycle. So when the cucumbers are at a younger or or earlier stage, yes. right? Your tracer, which is an excellent um, product, can 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 containing spinosad. It is one to two tablespoons per five gallons of water. And the reason why one, one to two is that if the infestation is relatively low, then you can use one teaspoon, which is five ml per five gallons of water. If you have a high infestation, then you can use two, two um, teaspoons per five gallons of water. Water using your your one tea, teaspoon per five gallons of, of water will give you about forty five ml ml to um to the ear um to the ear, 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 ear and if you're using the higher dose which is two that, that is ninety ml to the um to to the ear, 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 ear. as it really, really is clear to, to your peer PHI it's one day so the beauty of this is that it doesn't disrupt your marketing. Activity spray at a day pass and you can reap uh, after. Now, as it relates really to our um, B BTs, which is, which 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 are which 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 which, which is um, our organic solution, our BTs can consist of um, zentari, dipel, and agri, and they can consist of cultured microbe, um, um, bacteria. I should say bacterial mi microbe, bacillus. Genesis, and in terms of dosage rate or application rate, it is two tablespoons per gallon of water. And this is equivalent to 1,359 grams to the 45 gallon drum. And the beauty of this, this as well is that you have a PHI of zero, meaning that, I should I say, it creates the opportunity for you to up, apply and reap afterwards within a day. Great. Mr. Grant, let me take the opportunity of just explaining, going through some of our diseases that our fungus, that yes. persons might encounter when in their cucumber production. Now we have gummy stem, mm -hmm. altinaria, our leaf spot, powder mildew, fusarium wilt, mm -hmm. and fruit rot. These are some of the funguses that persons would encounter, and some of the chemicals for, for treatment would be well, Amistar, Bravo, Score, Revus. Rudder and Amistar. I've been to Amistar before. Our water molds would be damping off. Our downy mildew, our blights are some of the, some of these um, 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 water molds. Right. Our bacterial um, 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 fun, um, disease would be angli angular leaf spot. Right. And our, from our virus yes. would be our green multivirus, mosaic virus, and melon mosaic virus and for the treatment for for some of our bacterial um, 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 diseases would be our co-side yeah. persons can look at the slide for a different dosage rates and apply um, accordingly Great. good excellent now you know with having good disease management good pest management we can, can, can control, you know, we want, want to know how to actually fertilize, fertilize. our um, crop. Um, you know, it, it is um, having an irrigation system now is, is really the, 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 the way far, far um, um, forward as the agricultural industry grow and expand and persons are adapting locally to, 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 to new um, technology, technology and that was move away from the, tra tra the, the traditional farming. method, which is actually smart, smart, farming. smart farming. So what I want to hi hi highlight is actually our solo feed cucumber nutrition program and the solo feed um, line of fertilizers are a highly soluble um, line of fertilizers that can ideally be utilized in your drip irrigation system and it comes in um four different blend that is applied at the different physiological stages of um crop ground so for example at week one you would have used our 20 30 10 um magnesium sulfate blend of um fertilizer week one you 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 use about 31 
um, about 32 Two pounds, pounds. Of, of, of this fertilizer for, for the first week. You, you, you can apply it at one application, but what is re re recommended is that to split the application over the week. So you split that um, 32 pounds of fer fertilizer in, in, into three. So you use an average of 10 pint, about 10.5 pounds at each application for the week. And the same principle to okay. all the, the other blends. You split the application as you go, go, um, 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 go along. Keep in, in, in mind though that you, that, that you do that uh, um, as it relates to the application rate that no less than 12 grams per gallon of water. No less than 12 grams of the fertilizer per grams. Um, um, 12 grams per gallon of water. So per acre we're looking at 96 pounds of the 20, 30, 10 magnesium sulfate blend for the first week of pr production. For, for week two to three, we would we'll, 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 we'll use about 64 pounds of the 22, 11, 22 magnesium sul 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 sulfate within our fertigation sy sy um, um, sy system. Um, for, for this, no less than three grams per gallon of, of of wa water and this is equivalent to 127 pounds of, of this <coughs> fertilizer. At four to five weeks you also would have used about 64 pounds of your 12, 20, 30 magnesium um, blend in your fertigation in your fertigation system of course as well no less than three grams per gallon of water and this is equivalent to 191 pounds during this week we also rec we recommend the the, 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 the the use of calcium, calcium. Ni ni nitrate. Ni nitrate at 14 um about 15 pounds every week um i i, I must highlight this 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 discussion will do not mix a calcium nitrate with any fertilizer like, 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 like because it will cause an a cause a reaction will residues we, we, we will um, be formed within an irrigation yes. system and can um, block up or damage your piping um, um, system. So you apply your calcium nitrate weekly by itself. And you just need to apply it once per week, every week over the, 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 the life of the crop. As, as it relates to the amount of calcium nitrate that, that, that you will basically you, you, we, uh, um, utilize, you are your, 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 your basically um, going to ap apply no less than 100, 145 grams per gallon per, per, per se for every week. And of course, you do have algas and our cucurbitaceae line of fertilizer that fa facilitates foliar growth. Now, as it relates to our traditional Tradition. blend, which you, you, you would have been quite familiar with, um, could you really take the opportunity to highlight the traditional blends, please? So some of the traditional blends that we are, uh, use is our 1428 yes. and our 15535 along with our multi-feed um, um, fertilizer and this can be applied throughout the period of your production. Great, great, great. because you know, tra 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 traditionally persons use the standard grade um, um, fertilizer. However, um, Coming close to the end of our presentation, we need to highlight a bit of tips as it relates to um to um grain cucumbers. So give us a few few tips. Oh, so some of these growing tips for cucumber production. Yes. Are plant cucumber varieties with good disease resistance and environmental environmental adaptability to the local condition. Great. Cucumber is best grown in loamy soil type that will drain with a good organic content and have a pH range of 6.8 to 7.2. Intermediate to warm climates between 85 to 95 um, um, Fahrenheit. Treat seedlings with rhodomil and actar for a good start. Provide good protection against fungal attack and soil-borne insect pests. Water plants with algae plant tonic to simulate rapid growth and root system development. Great. And these are some important tips that persons can employ in their production of cucumbers. Great. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Gar 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 for those informative, in, in, informative tips. And I do, do trust with the 
information being um, 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 dispensed and the critical areas highlighted that most definite, definitely our viewers will be more ad adept at cultivating cucumbers. However, um, ideally important um, cucumbers from our portfolio that, that are exceptional quality is our Bristol, our thunder. Eureka, of course our thunder, thunder and thunder thunderbird. Bird. Great. Thank you. So today we brought to you the features, the benefits, how to grow and care for the EX4098 hybrid carrot seeds and the hybrid Bristol cucumber seeds. We now invite you to come out to any h and Agro location or any of our dealers island-wide and purchase your EX4098 hybrid carrot seed and your hybrid Bristol cucumber seed. And from there, all we have to wish to you is happy farming. And remember, at h and Agro, we are here to serve you as you continue to grow and contribute to Jamaica's food sustainability. Happy farming.